guys. Hey, welcome back to another Sunday School. It's so good to be back with you all again today. Well, we've, today we've got a, a great story which is inspired by the book of Daniel. It's about a man by the same name, Daniel, who was a Jewish exile, an immigrant in Babylon after Jerusalem was destroyed by King Nebuchadnezzar. Babylon was a city in ancient Medea, which is now Iraq. While Daniel became a trusted advisor of King Darius, he never abandoned his faith. He stayed true to his faith and belief in, in the one true God. He was smart. He was kind. He was grounded in goodness. But the other advisors of the king, they got jealous of Daniel and they conspired against him. They wanted to destroy him. And Graham will later, will later tell you the rest of a very notable Old Testament story about Daniel. Well, we've got a, a great craft with Nancy, which is it's an awesome craft this week, I have to tell you. Well, we want to thank uh, Chinua and Kibwe for doing communion this week, both for, for Sunday school and for worship, and for all of you that stepped up and helped with worship this morning. You all did a great job. Uh, we want to also recognize that this last week was Ireland's birthday. So would you join with me in singing happy birthday to Ireland? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ireland. Happy birthday to you. Ireland, we hope you had a wonderful birthday and know that you are loved. Well, with that, let's head on into the next part of our Sunday School. Here's today's quiz. Question one. Isaiah was said to live about how many years before Jesus? Was it A, 700 years, B, 1,500 years, or C, 2,000 years? Announce your answer. The correct answer is A, 700 years. Isaiah was a A, professor, B, a prophet, or C, a philanthropist? Your answer? The correct answer is B, a prophet. In the book of Isaiah, it says, what, an what animal shall live with the lamb? Was it A, the lion, B, the calf, or C, the wolf? Your answer? The correct answer is C, the wolf. Thanks for taking the quiz. <clears throat> Daniel in the Pit of Lions. The Babylonian king was happy to choose talented people from among the exiles to serve in his government. Among them was a gifted man from Judah, Daniel. He was so admired that when the Medes and Persians captured Babylon in the time of Nebuchadnezzar's son, the new ruler, Darius, kept him as an advisor. It was Daniel who occupied the thoughts of another advisor as he marched grimly home one evening. The king is considering putting that Judean exile, Daniel, in charge of all 120 of his governors, he fumed. The job you wanted, cooed his wife. So perhaps you'll need to talk with the other governors about how to handle the situation. She smiled a knowing smile. The man began to scheme the very next day. He was the one who led the governors to a special audience with Darius. King Darius, your majesty, live forever. We have agreed that your majesty should ensure that everyone in the empire is completely loyal to you. We have agreed that you should issue an order that for 30 days, no one is to request anything from any god or human being other than yourself. Anyone who breaks the order should be thrown into a pit of lions. Darius was flattered to think that his interests at heart his, he had, they had his interests at heart, and he signed the order in the customary way. A law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be changed. And now, said the governor to his fellow conspirators, 
We need only wait. They were right. Soon they spied Daniel going to the window of his house that faced toward Jerusalem. There he knelt and prayed to God. The governor, governors rubbed their hands with glee. Darius protested when he heard the news. Daniel is my finest administrator. I know that he is completely loyal. He does not have to submit to this new law to prove that. But you signed the law yourself, argued the governors. The terms are clear. It is a law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be changed. Darius saw that he was trapped. He gave the order that Daniel be thrown into the pit of lions. But as Daniel was led away, he whispered, May your God, who you serve so loyally, rescue you. In the morning, he raced to the pit. Daniel, he called, has your God saved you? May your majesty live forever, came the reply. God sent an angel to protect me, for God knows my loyalty to you is unfailing. Darius was overjoyed. He gave orders for Daniel to be hauled from the pit. Roll the stone away, the king commanded his soldiers, and he saw Daniel sitting down surrounded by the lions who lay in a circle sleeping peacefully around him. The soldiers hauled him into the daylight. Then the king ordered the evil advisors to be hurled into the lion's den, where the lions leaped up at them and killed them before they even touched the floor. Now I will issue a decree, said King Darius, a law that must be obeyed. Let everyone in my kingdom worship the God of Daniel, who saved his servant from the lion's mouth. He is the living God. Greetings, artist friends. Today's story is about Daniel and the lion's den. So our activity for today is we're going to make a lion face using leaves that we go out and collect from out in the yard or down the street. So as you can see, I've got a pile of beautiful maple leaves here. And in your packet, you're going to get a sheet that looks like this. It's a leaf art sheet. It has lots of other different creatures on it that you can uh, make on your own, but we're going to focus on the lion up here in the corner. So you're also going to get a piece of blank white paper in your packet. So if you want to start by penciling on the face of the lion, you can do that. I've already penciled this one on, um, and I kind of followed a bit of what was on the sheet. So now I'll darken it in. Some eyes, and, oops, my marker's not so hot. Let me switch markers. I hope this one's not running out of ink. Okay, little nose. Okay, and you can, um, if you don't want to use a black marker, you can use whatever color you want. Just make sure it's dark enough so you can see the face. Okay, so first step is get the face on the white piece of paper, and then I've done kind of a pencil oval of the head, so then you're going to cut that out so you don't have a rectangular headed lion. Okay, get that cut out, and then you're going to be ready to glue on your leaves. So, uh, either Elmer's glue, some kind of liquid glue, or this is a craft glue that I uh, have at my house. And you notice I store it upside down so that hopefully the glue is ready to come out. You just need to put a little daub on and then put the leaf on. And you can snap off, I'll leave that like that, you can snap off these stems or cut off these stems. And then you just keep building it up around the edge to create the lion's mane, and you can overlap them. Um, if your leaves happen to be wet, because we are going to be getting rain here, uh, let them dry a little bit before you start attaching them. Okay, so a lion's face or 
Uh, anything you want to create off of the leaf art sheet. Have fun this week, and uh, now it's time for communion. Jesus took the bread, uh, broke it, and blessed it, and said, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Um, every time when you eat this bread, remember me. Then he took the cup, poured the juice, and said, uh, every time when you drink from this drink from this cup, um, remember me. Daniel was a man of God. He was a man who showed great faith and courage as he faced life and death challenges, including his time in the lion's den. The song we're about to sing was written in 1926 by another Daniel, Daniel Iverson. The words he wrote certainly speak to the Old Testament Daniel, and they speak to us too. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Meld me, mold me, fill me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Let's join our friends Paul and Mary Pritchard as they sing Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall was about Daniel, who never wavered in his faith in God, even in the midst of danger. Well, I hope this week you get a chance to get outside and enjoy the beautiful fall leaves. Have a good week. We'll see you next Sunday.